I'm going to explain to you what you need to do with the dishwasher when you first get here in the morning. You'll come, the dishwasher will be off. You'll open the dishwasher. You will take this thing, which should be kept somewhere with the dishes, easy to find, not lost. Take it, put it in. It's going to be obvious there's like a hole down here with, it's got like a drain around it. And you'll want to put the plug into the drain hole here. And sometimes it doesn't want to go, it doesn't just naturally fall in all the way. You kind of have to jig, jiggle it a little. It'll be obvious once it's fully down and in its place. Um, and then you'll close the machine and you power it on. You don't have to hold it down. You can just press it, power the machine on. You're going to hear the machine filling with water. Okay, so you just powered on the machine. You could hear it filling. It filled. You heard it click off. It was done filling. Now you need to press the start button to run it through one full cycle before you put dishes in there. The purpose of this cycle is to bring the water um, up to the appropriate temperature for the sanitize, um, the sanitization cycle. All right. So you powered it on. It's on. It filled up. Now run one cycle. Alright, so one thing I want to mention about this first cycle that you're running without dishes right after you've powered it on is that this cycle can take, that it will run for almost five minutes. And that's happening because the dishwasher is just, it's just running and cycling water through until the water has come up to the appropriate temperature, which is 180 degrees for the wash cycle. And if you come down here, I can show you. This reads, this here is the wash cycle. The one below is the rinse cycle. Those are the temperatures of the water. This one needs to come up to 180 degrees before it shuts off and it's ready for just starting your load finishes. Alright, so it's mid shift, you've been catting, you've been doing dishes. Come over here, you're going to need to drain out the machine by powering it down. Uh, the purpose of this is to clean the machine, clean, fully drain out the water, make sure the water is all fully clean, clean out debris from the uh, dishwasher. So this is how you're going to do it. Dishwasher is done washing your last load, open the dishwasher, take out your dishes. I know. Then you're going to take some tongs, some metal tongs probably work the best I've found. And your, the drain plug that you put in at the beginning of the shift is going to be mostly submerged in water. So you, you want, that's why you want to use the tongs because this water is like 180 degrees. Pull out the drain plug from its hole, drain, and close the dishwasher. And press the power button to power it down. This is the sound of the dishwasher draining. It only takes a second. Just let it finish draining. And if it's not draining, that means that the drain uh, pipe, which is very malleable, has been pinched um, and has a kink in it. And that should be addressed either by you or you can come get me. Um, so yeah, now, open, once it's done, you hear it stop draining, open the dishwasher, there should be almost no water left in here. Um, in the well of the dishwasher, there are these metal grates that can be um, taken out. Mid-shift, you don't necessarily need to take them out, but if there's food debris in there, or spoons or whatever, you need to scoop that stuff out, get it out of there. Basically, you're trying to, the point is to make sure that there's no food or anything in the dishwasher. You want to kind of clean the dishwasher. Um, once you've done that, you've cleaned out the food debris, you've got the spoons, whatever, loose stuff that's in there. Take the drain plug, just like you did when you first got here in the morning. Put it back in the hole. Didn't go all the way down, so I'm jiggling it a little. Seems like it's all the way in. Close the machine. And power it back on. And this should only take a second. You'll hear the machine filling with water. Alright, so you just powered the machine back on. You could hear it fill up with water. Now it's done filling water with water. Now you should open the machine and make sure that there's actually some water in there. Uh, if there isn't, 
that means that the drain plug um, isn't fully uh, plugging the drain. So you'll need to jiggle, jiggle the drain plug around just a little, move it a little, you'll feel it, it'll fall just a little bit further down into the drain and then it should be fully in there. If that does happen, probably won't happen that often, but if it does, close the machine, power it off, and then once it's drained all the way and it's powered off, power the machine back on. Um, so yeah, once you have refilled the machine successfully, run it through one full cycle uh, like we did at opening to bring the water and the machine up to temp. Alright, so it's the end of the day and you need to power the machine down and give it a little washout um, and I'll show you how to do that. So you open the machine, take the tongs again, take the tongs again here, Pull out the drain plug just like you did mid-shift. Put it somewhere where the morning people can find it. That's very important. Close the machine. And power it down. You're going to let it drain out just like we did mid-shift. Alright, so the machine is finished draining water. There, it should appear to be off on the computer screen, no lights or anything. Open the machine. And in the well of the machine, you'll see that there are two metal sort of great um, debris catchers. What you'll want to do is take them out. They might be a little bit hot still, so you could sort of let them cool off if you wanted to, or use tongs or something. Take them out. On a normal day, they'll probably be full of like food and whatever. You'll want to take them. And spray them out with a nozzle. Make sure you don't it out. Spray them out until they're clean. Put them back in there. Close the machine. And that's it.